Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Tosh Taylor. And I'm Jenna Morton. And on this episode, we are talking about a brand new summer event that is coming to Dieppe. And to hear all about it, tell us all about it, we have Pam Netpal with us. Hi, Tosh. Hi, Jenna. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Pam. Hi. I am so excited for you to join us and tell us about this festival. I saw your poster pop up before <laughs> we even started talking mm-hmm. about summer festivals. I was like, ooh, this looks new and interesting. So tell us all about your big plans. Yes, it is new. So we, we have a Philippine association here in the greater Moncton area, and I just got elected as president. Woo-hoo. Congratulations. Uh, it's a task. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, and one of the things you were thinking of, uh, The month of June is Philippine Independence Month. Okay. And we celebrate the Philippine Independence Day on June 12. So we thought it's Asian Heritage Month this month. And just a plug, we're having on May 28th the gala for the Asian Heritage Month. So join us there as well. Mm-hmm. So we were thinking, the new officers and myself were thinking, oh, what can we do to celebrate it? And for Filipinos, the best way to celebrate everything <laughs> is food. Food. Like when you have Woman a meal, after, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. after your own heart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. So we have like back home, this is how we eat breakfast, merienda or snack, lunch, merienda or snack, dinner, and then midnight snack. This is how Filipinos <laughs> eat. So we eat a lot. So we said, how about introducing the, the best way we think we can introduce our culture more to Canadians, especially we're becoming a huge number four is here is to introduce our food and maybe some songs and dances so we said okay let's do a filipino food festival we call it the festival because back home we have fiestas you know those bannered mm-hmm. things pendants and we enjoy it there's a lot of things happening we even have uh, it's part of our spanish culture we even have uh we call it um uh, Procession, procession. Okay, yeah, like yeah. a parade. Uh, kind we of. have parade, but we have like queens dressed up, decked like Miss Universe. We're also Miss Universe country, <laughs> so it's like we celebrate a lot. We and June for us Independence Day is something very important. So we said, hey, let's do food. Fantastic. Yeah. So talk a little bit about what kind of foods people can expect if they come out to the fiesta bell. I'm going to get hungry. <laughs> I knew this. So we're going to have some rice cakes, some desserts, definitely, that are very Filipino, either rice flour base, you know, we have kuchinta, we have sapin sapin. Don't ask me to explain all these. <laughs> But best thing to go is go there. So we have sapin sapin. We have food. One of the popular dishes or viands we have back home are what we call the silogs. It's called sinangag, which is Fried rice, okay, and log, which is it log, which is egg. Ah, so it's fried rice with a fried egg, and different kinds of uh, dishes to go with it. We have our favorite, famous adobo, which is it. Have you I've have you had, ever tasted any Filipino food? I have <laughs> that a chicken adobo. Okay, chicken I've, <laughs> there's there was a Philippine. Filipino chef who was doing them as like meal boxes. So it, it was authentic. Okay. It wasn't just like a Canadian version. It was real and it was very okay. good. So we don't have Canadian versions yet of our <laughs> yeah. food. No, I know your chicken balls. Yeah. yeah, we don't get balls. us. Sorry, Sorry Pam. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> those, are, those are fun to eat, but they're Canadian. Yes, we understand okay. so that. We haven't Canadianized it yet. That's okay. Don't. 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 We, we don't, don't need to. Exactly. It's hard to do so. Yeah. Maybe just eat it with bread. But we eat everything with rice. Rice is life for us. So we have adobo. We'll probably have tapa. It's after the Spanish tapas, but it's beef. Wow, cured mm. beef with uh, soy sauce. We like soy mm. sauce. We have probably tocinos, lumpiang Shanghai, based on our Chinese roots as well. It's uh, it's like your not spring rolls. Okay, okay. Yeah, spring rolls with meat. We I'm sure we will have pancit or noodles. Yep. And uh, and this is what you should look out for. We're having a lechon. It's a roast whole pig. Oh. oh. Oh, I recently so just started wait, wait, eating wait. meat again, so <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. okay, you can experiment. <laughs> so it's like roast pig that has been like there's some uh, some herbs inside, and they roast it over slow fire, and it's crackling, crackling, 
speckling some skin. I know you guys don't eat so much skin, but it's pork skin, but it's really yummy. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Yeah, I know. Don't think we're weird. We, we eat on skin too. But, but it's, it's, it's yummy. It's really yummy. You would have to taste it. So... Uh, yeah, there. It's all the things we could probably cook. We'll cook there. Okay, <laughs> so love it. let's go. Uh, we we touched on the Canadianism or the Americanizing of food. Where is all of this food coming from? Like, are are we making it authentic in your homes kind of idea, or do we have Filipino restaurants in town that are authentic? We have not in Moncton, okay. but we have a few food trucks. Yep. Okay, there's Sarap, not in Moncton, but somewhere in Capelet. Mm -hmm. And they're opening, I think, a restaurant as well. Ooh. Uh, we have um, the Authentic Asian food yes. truck, mm -hmm. which is yeah. now at the, I think, Brian Dobson Center. Yes. They have yeah. Asian food, Filipino food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish which is Filipino, Chinese, and everything. And because our culture has been such a mix as well, mm -hmm. we have a lot of Chinese food. Go to the Philippines. If you can go to Manila, it's like everything's there. All the food's there. So <laughs> we mix and foods. match. We're, we we're, we're match. very <laughs> flexible that way. So, and... Um, there is another food truck coming. I think it's Zena's. They used to be in Petticoat. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So they're they're coming up with a food truck as well, and they're joining us for here. And the Lechon person is going to be <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about Lechon. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had it in the five years we're here yet. Oh, wow. So, yes, I miss that. Yeah, I would too, for sure. For people who haven't had Filipino food, would you say, does it kind of fall within a, is it more spicy, more sweet, a little bit? Because oh. give people just kind of a general idea of what to Great expect. Great question. So the Philippines is 7,100 islands, maybe 108 if it's low tide. Uh, but it's, uh, that was a joke, by I, the way. I, I got it. You're, you're, got it. <laughs> you're supposed to laugh. It's I a was joke. Supposed to was supposed to that it. was a joke. Okay. I wasn't 100% okay. sure. So I was like, no, 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 no. That it was a joke. Tragedy. It, it was a joke. It wasn't a tragedy. It wasn't a tragedy. It's not of, Atlantis. Yeah. None of the water. No, no, no. Okay. Atlantis here. So, sorry. Uh, but, you know, we have... For every region we have, there's different kinds of cooking. So like we have south of uh, our main city, Metro Manila, you have Bicol, which has a lot of coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So there's like thigh or a little bit of Indian food. And then and they're very spicy. Mm. Then we have uh, the Tagalog region where I'm from, but it's it's just normal food, nothing spicy, nuts. And they also we also love sweet food. Mm. It's very Canadian of us. <laughs> I know it's certain air. <laughs> Sweeter than my taste, but it where we like su sweet food as well. We put sugar in spaghetti. Wow. So there will be, I think, Filipino spaghetti. We put hot dogs in our spaghetti. This is how we can get my kids to eat. Hot dogs and sugar. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that does okay. sound like, like so the most ideal child-friendly meal. Guys, please do spaghetti with hot dogs or else. <laughs> or else. Or else. Okay. So there, it, it's, it depends on the region. We have a lot. And back in the Visayas, the southern part of the islands, where the beaches are beautiful. I bet. Beautiful. Um, they have uh, grills. Salt uh -huh. and pepper with a little bit of mm. uh, chicken oil. We call it barbecue. Mm. Everything is barbecue for us. Chicken barbecue, pork mm -hmm. barbecue, beef barbecue. And uh, I want to go home. I know. I, I was just saying, I'm like, I don't <laughs> want to go home. I suddenly miss so because. <laughs> <laughs> and this will bring a lot of memories back for Absolutely. us. I mean, really, um, we would love to share that and eat as well uh, on June 10th. So. Really, we hope that people will come. I know it's Diep Market Day or Moncton Market Day, but please, please, I hope people will try it. Mm -hmm. Try it. Try well, us. and it's perfect if you're going to be out and about already. Just you just add this stop in, right? Yeah, you just and add it in because you're three. Yeah, and you're right downtown at uh, Plus sixteen oh four in Diep, right? That is the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> Rain or shine? Yes. Oh, well, yeah, we're, we're hoping to get that. It's a fundraising thing for us. Also because, you know, we noticed that when we have Filipinos who get sick, who have, you know, things that happen, the hardest part of an being an immigrant, I think, is having no family here. Yep. Uh, it's hard for us to mobilize, so we have to mobilize for people. We have to be able to help, and this is one of the things we wanted to do outside of sharing our culture, outside of sharing our food, our talents. We will have some singers there, and hopefully a bingo. 
Ooh. Yeah. So, so we're, is your bingo similar to Canadian bingo, or is this is Filipino bingo different? Uh, no, it's the same bingo. Okay. But we just make just fun of it. Sure. Okay. Like for every number, there's something associated with the number. <laughs> you know, crazy things like that. It's like really a fair, uh, local, provincial, town, country, small thing fair. People Love announce it. stuff. But so we're trying to fundraise. We're trying to fundraise to help people here. Can you talk a little bit more about your association and and just the growing community that you have here? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I, I saw a study once or heard a study once that I think the Filipinos are the one of the biggest migrant populations coming here, and but we're the most loyal. We stay. Mm -hmm. There's a move by the government for settle and stay, and we stay. Yeah, <laughs> we're kind of loyal to a fault because uh, we we um, we respect who brought us here. So it's like, and but. Really, I'm loving New Brunswick. I'm right. loving Moncton. Coming from D.C., I said, bring me back to Moncton. Oh. <laughs> I, I love that we come from a from a city or country we're in. There's traffic everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, number one reason why we left. The country's lovely. I love my country. I love Filipinos. Uh, but... We love the tra we love the no traffic here. So when you mm. complain, <laughs> I, I know I'm not from here either. I get it. And she's lived in yeah, Toronto. Yeah, I've lived she in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's no traffic here, people. There's yeah, no, traffic. no traffic. Five minutes is yeah. not traffic. Okay, just just so you know. Yeah, with two but, lanes. Yeah. Okay. That's another yeah. topic altogether, yeah. right? That's a separate episode. Okay, this yeah. is a Filipino yes. food. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We just had to talk about traffic. But but see. Um, it, it, the organization really hopes to not just be able to to share again our culture, but also to be able to make a difference in the Filipinos coming here. Uh, we want to be uh, we want to have alliances with other Asian or any migrant group. Mm -hmm. The objective is really just to be able to help everyone that in need. Of course, our folks is Filipinos. The way the other cultural associations, our folks are there, mm -hmm. fellow men, but. Um, I think there's room for always being partnering, partnered with others. Uh, we want to do that. We want to be able to hopefully also have a voice someday because uh, these permanent residences, these temporary workers are going to be citizens someday. Mm -hmm. And some, you know, I think we need a seat at the table to be able to also share uh, what we need, mm -hmm. what we need as migrants. And um, hopefully the association can do that. And hopefully, the government of two bucks. Yeah. Make with us on this. You never know who's listening. Mm -hmm. I know. So listen to Tosh and Jeff. <laughs> when, uh, so you've been in Moncton, you said, for five years now. Did you find the association right away? Yes, we did. Okay. It's, we're very Facebook savvy. So <laughs> yeah, savvy. it's not just me. Everyone in the Philippines, we always have our mobile devices. <laughs> oh, we are the, I think we're the biggest texters in the world. Wow, no way. Yeah, and if there will be a contest, we'll win. Okay. <laughs> On it. Very yeah, humble people really, too. really, <laughs> we will win. We, you should do that. Yeah. yeah um, Maybe next year's festival, you can yeah. add in a texting oh. competition. <laughs> Maybe we can even do it now. It's not very easy. Yeah, so, you know, we still have some time. We have time. <laughs> so, but it's... Uh, where were we? <laughs> we were talking about uh, coming here. Yes, that's right. Coming here. You, okay. Your Find family moving here. Yes. Yeah. We found them, and uh, we, you know, we were able to talk to people. Um, but we just want people to know that no, we're here. Right. The set, you know, not just your officers, but your friends are here. We're trying to build a community. I mean, moving here, it was just so hard. Um, not having anyone, not knowing anyone, not knowing where to stay. And we came at a time before COVID, mm -hmm. before the housing market just went mm. bonkers. Yeah, Eggs, yeah. I didn't have any words for it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, for you to come now, like always we get, where's, where can I find an apartment? Mm -hmm. Where can I find this? Mm -hmm. where can I? And of course, you're moving thousands of miles away, either studying or working or being a permanent resident in work. And, like, your funds are not going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. It's hard to move. It's hard to move. I think the biggest impact for me when we moved was when my husband and I came first. And um, we were at the airport, and I had two luggages of all the years of my life. Wow. Wow. Two oh. huge bags, a carry-on, and a bag. That was my life. Holy. And... 
really, I cried and thinking, am I really doing this? Am I really doing this? And, you know, a lot of Filipinos coming here, they've had, they have good lives back home. Um, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but, but there's something else that for us Canada offers, like security. Um, doesn't mean we're less Filipinos than all the Filipinos back home. It's just that sometimes your priorities change and ours changed. After two daughters of a certain age <laughs> who are now married, <laughs> we have a nine-year-old son. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Surprise. We <laughs> went to that little boy. So two girls and finally a little boy. So he said, Fine. suddenly our priorities change. We said, mm -hmm. okay, let's try to see. And we have been trying to move since 2015. Oh, wow. We have quite moved, a we just moved 2018. So it's, and it's about the Atlantic Immigration Program. You should feature that Well, that, too. that was my question. What, how did you learn about New yeah. Brunswick? Oh, we had a, an immigration agent that we hired to help us. What I did was because I was more mature than most of the immigrants <laughs> coming here. I, as you can see, I play with my words. <laughs> As I was, was my husband and I were more mature. So um, we had to get an agent just to make sure we're doing the right things mm -hmm. because we didn't mm -hmm. know anything about it. My parents are in uh, the States. Okay. I have siblings in the States. But us, we never thought we'd go. We never thought we'd go. So we said we got an agent. Then he helped us. And then he told us about, we were supposed to go to Edmonton. I was supposed to be working at the gas bar. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't picture you nope. in a gas bar in Imagine Edmonton. Imagine me yeah. in a gas bar. No, you, well, you're coming from islands. You need to come to the coast. Well, still. So don't go to Edmonton. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 sorry. No. I'm sorry, Edmonton. I've been I'm there. I'm sorry, Edmonton. <laughs> I've never been there, so. <laughs> so, um, uh, we said we'll do it the right day with an agent. Then he found out about the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program then, mm -hmm. and he told us about a hotel that was hiring. And the rest is history. They hired us. They hired me. My husband now works elsewhere, but he, we're, we, are we are happy here. We have made Moncton our home. And makes us all the more happy is that our eldest daughter recently joined us. That's so exciting. Family complete. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, again, I got married at age two. <laughs> Just so in case you want to... Age two. Age two, in case you want to add. Yeah. Her mm -hmm. eldest is 28. <laughs> Do the math. Do the math. Do the math. So, so um, it's, a, it's different. And, and our eldest didn't want to go. Okay. The, you know, as I was, when I was starting a family, I said, oh, I want to be in the Philippines. I want to be of good help, share my talents here. But then, again, circumstances change. And now that she's here, she's happy. She lives in Sussex. Wow. Yeah. That's a culture shock. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah. There are Facebook pages dedicated to the five-minute wait at Walmart. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And, and, and it's really like for them, the way we've been used to, the things we've been used to, I mean, it, it, it just makes them... Smile. Yeah. A lot of things make you smile here more than makes you pout. But it was, you know, I, I talk about it now as if it was like such a smooth run. It, it's not a smooth run for any immigrant. It's just that looking back, oh, you went through all of this and it's okay. You survived and you're making this your home and we're happy. We found friends here. Um, you've found. Uh, not just Filipino friends, but Canadian friends as well, and we're, we're, we're settling down very well. And I think that's a Filipino trait as well. We are very flexible in that way. We're, we're gypsies. Mm -hmm. That's why, sorry, I tease this a lot, but every time something happens, like there's an accident, there's always a Filipino. <laughs> Because we're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. We're like shadows. <laughs> Can we have Pam on for the rest of the season? Yeah. Just every yes. episode. <laughs> it's it's going it's to become like a three co host situation be a, here. Josh, Jenna, and Pam. Show. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to quit your job. Uh -oh. Yeah. For this non paying gig. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, right. It's okay. There's that. If yeah. we can do it early in the morning, I can join. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, don't say. Yeah. <laughs> I think 
I think it's so important for you to to verbalize that though and tell people like yeah, it's not easy. It's it not. does take time because I think right now we've had so many people come to the Maritimes even from within Canada, yeah. let alone from elsewhere, that I think thought it would be a lot easier to adjust mm -hmm. to a new place. And then they go back. I see that yeah. in yep. our group, right? So it's I think if you don't give it enough time, you will immediately go back home. Like just a quick thing, if we have time, like when we when we got here, it was just me and my husband. So we were working um, at a hotel and, you know, the work I had back home was different from the work I had here. So it's like crying. The kids weren't here. My little son wasn't here. He was four, three, four then. And mm -hmm. like the first time we filed for their coming here, it was declined. Oh, wow. Oh, immediately I wanted oh. to go back home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like then we found another agent to help us with that and they in a week's in December twenty four they landed in Toronto. Oh yeah. I just got goosebumps. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. No. Yeah. I, a good thing I don't have eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's really hard. So our second daughter and our son was here December twenty four, twenty nine, twenty eighteen. And then, you know, we were battling back and forth with our eldest. Come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. I said, for how many years now? And then suddenly she said, yes. It's like a proposal. Yeah. <laughs> so finally she said yes. And we're, we're happy to have finally our little complete little families mm -hmm. here. That's amazing. Yeah. It, it's, and I can see other people. Uh, struggling as well like you have temporary workers here who their families are still uh, their families are still back home or elsewhere and it's hard it's really hard um, but once they're here I think you know you, you'll make a go out of it it's not easy to migrate or move from West well, that's Central it, to East. It was so much work yeah. in, too, yeah. it as well, to just go back home or, I suppose, choose another province, too. It's, uh, that's just moving houses? I'm, yes, oh my seriously. God. I can't yeah, even I really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time I'm moving. Okay. But, but it's, it's different. And I think people who move must understand that. Give, them time, give themselves time. Right. And give the people around them time. They're not used to it. Like they said yeah. 10 years ago, there were no... Other colors here yeah. in Moncton. So yeah. it's, it's just nice that we're now a multicultural mm -hmm. community. Yes. Absolutely. Um, so before we go, remind everyone where they can experience Filipino culture. Okay. It's going to be on June 10. <laughs> June 10 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's going to be the F Filipino Food Festival. Festival, I always yep. get. Uh, at Place 1604 in the app. So we hope to see you there. Really, really, really enjoy the day with us. And if people want to get in touch with the association, mm -hmm. if someone's watching because they're Ooh. coming, is there... Me! Yeah. <laughs> Look up Pam. You'll find her. Yeah. She's all over social yeah. media. Yeah. She told well. us. <laughs> Look for me, Pam, <laughs> not Pill, or ask them. They'll yes. tell you. Yes. Uh -huh. Tosh and Jenna. But, well, but yeah. really, we welcome. And, and if you want to connect with us in any which way, We'd love to do that. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming Thank in you. and spending time with us, Pam. This has been a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we'll see you next week.